Good morning. Five of this five over one, five over two. Let's all rise. Let's begin our Hulu by offering one standing bow to our beloved two parents. I'm Gua, Chamuwe, Sogirepe, Kimbe, Baro. Our most beloved heavenly parents, today, October the, the 7th, 2014, here at Washington Family Church, National Cathedral, here at Washington, D.C., USA. We pray that today all the good spirits all the good angels, the good saints who have done your, your will to our ages would come down to our true mother and true children, true grandchildren, and protect them as, well as we well as praying for the success of our true path in the spirit world. We pray as well for the inspiration also of many of buildings of absolute good spirits and we pray as well for the unity of our true mother and we pray for our leaders for attending our two month day two with the night with her and always follow her instructions and we pray for our elder sister Tanjinim and her husband in Suplin who now takes care of the international headquarters of the Family Federation for World Peace and Unification Headquarters. We pray for their success always as they direct now missionaries all over the world from Chongqing, Korea. And we pray that today we can report all our activities last Sunday, the types, the nations, and many other things to the national requirements. And we pray as well for all the continental leaders from over the world, especially our own Archbishop Kim Kim and his wife and children. And we pray as well for, at least for North America and the Caribbean. And we pray as well for all the national leaders all over the world, especially here in America. We pray for Reverend and Dr. Michael Bowden, his wife Kumiko, and the children and the staff there at Fort West, Fort Third Street. We pray for their success always, and we pray for the success of their website, DP Life that info that it can be used as a tool to reach out to many new members and new uh, invited guests 
that goes to any of our centers all over America. We pray that we can also contribute their stories and successes as we pray for a successful people and the members here in America. We pray that we pray for all over the world, all the districts and regions, especially here in District 1. We pray for our district pastor, Reverend Ernest Patton and his wife, Kate Patton, and their children. We pray for their success always as we pray also for all of the Center leaders and pastors all over the world, especially here in the mid Atlantic area. From Tolson, Maryland, we pray for Reverend James Stewart and his wife, Abby Kelly. In Norfolk, Virginia, we pray for Reverend Akira Alta and his family and all the members there in Norfolk. And we pray for Father Adrian Bible for Richmond, Virginia. We pray that they will always multiply and they will have many successes there. And we pray as well for Minnesota June in Northern Virginia and all the members there in Northern Virginia. And in Maryland area, we pray for Reverend Dylan Stevens and his wife and co pastors like Reverend Jim Bookley, Ms. Jones. And, others, and all the members there in Maryland. We pray for their success. And we pray for the Washington, D.C. area. We pray for our Archbishop, Augustus Stalins, and his wife, and two children who are residing in this city, who is also heading the American clergy and leadership conference. We pray for his success, as well as the co-chairman of Reverend Tom Cutts and all the clergy from all over America. And we pray for Pastor Reverend Xavier Oldman, his wife, whom is son and daughter Brianna, and all the members who are connecting to our Hunduke and to this church. We pray for each other's success. We pray for each other's prosperity and all the protection that the good spiritual world has to offer. And we pray all of us in all our names and in my name, I can ask the friends, seek the land of the friends. Arju, Arju, Arju. Good morning. We're continuing reading uh, the Holy Scriptures, the World Scriptures, and the teachings of our Father, Reverend Sun Myung Moon. And now we're on page 550 with the subtopic. The Messiah establishes peace in the Middle East for Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Okay, we read this one. Uh, we're now number six. Prophecies of the Messiah's advent in the East. No matter how long we wait, there is no chance that he will come from Europe. It is Asia from whence he is to come. A great union will be born out of Hermes. He will surpass all the kings of the Orient. The country of the sun will maintain a great messianic law. A new leader of the spirit will come in the east. And this is from the book of Nostradamus, Quatrains. 10.75 verse 75 After the three years of war 
when the land of Korea is devastated, there will be begin to dawn the heavenly nation in the east. In the west, voices will cry out, Chong Do Ryong, Chong Do Ryong, and Messiah, Messiah. However, when that time comes, one must find the double bow and the double ul, the white cross, before one can partake of the great benefit. This is the time when humankind meets the central fortune of heaven. The eldest son of the east open and close a bracket Korea meets and marries the eldest daughter of the southeast open and close bracket Japan everyone covets and waits for the true man but who is he he is the one who judge all good and evil the own the one who comes with the full power to administer heaven and earth does not come from the mountains nor from the fields but from the place of the white cross verily he comes with the heavenly law the number of the heavenly law is 21,600 the number denoting heaven and 14,400 the number denoting the earth their sum is 36,000 open and close bracket the sum of yin and yang heaven and earth when, when good men and women in matrimony reach the number the holy man will come yin and yang in harmony bring the fortune of the heavenly way the united fortune of the east and west is the fortune of the ten victories. This number changes the predisposition of nature. The religion of the east and west come in to good accord and all the people of the world become as close as brothers and sisters. This is the manifest white cross according to the principle of yin and yang heaven and earth. The great way of the ten victories appears from the east. A thunderous voice calls out, offering the blessing. If you score this and go against it, your act will be as that of praying, of a praying mantis or cricket, trying to stop a rolling wheel. And the holy man will only laugh. Matching good men and women, the holy man will live comfort comfortably, receiving his matching and returning gratitude to God in prayer, they will receive precious children. Then the whole world will be united, such as has never happened from the dawn of creation. In the east, where the sun rises, there will appear a white cross. It will shine upon all corners of the world. The Chong Do Ryong is the great king of the ten victories. Remember, he is the king of all kings. So this is from the book of Chong Gam Nok. So this is also the prophecies yes. from, you know, from Korea. There's a so similar prophecy like this also in Japan, mm -hmm. like five years before this um, this century, mm -hmm. that was that was inscribed by uh, in stone. So you can read all about it. And for as the lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, 
so will the coming of the Son of Man. And this is from the Bible, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 27. Do not doubt that the heavenly Holy One will descend from heaven in the east. Matthew what? Matthew 24, verse 27. Do not doubt the heavenly Holy One will descend from heaven in the east. If the east fails to recognize him, he will come to be known through newly educated western people. If both east and west are unable to discern the one who is to come, both east and west will be discarded and new humankind will emerge. What can we do? He returns from the West upon, after receiving such re regretful treatment and looks, and looks down from the high mountain upon the world far away. In the latter half of the 20th century, come to the East and unto all regrets. Undo all regrets, I mean. Two holy men appear. The first one is not the real one, but the one who comes the second time is the Savior. When heaven sends him to the earth secretively, his family name is Moon. When the message gets to the unwanted ones, they will cause problems for the Messiah because no human being comes to be defeated. Thus, the Messiah appears amidst difficulties. This is from Kyok Am Yu Ro. So this is another like prophecies before Father King. They, yes. And now we have the teachings of our Father, Reverend Sun Myung Moon. It's only like three paragraphs. Uh, I think Reverend Esther can read this and then we have another topic. <coughs> On page 552 we read the teachings of our True Father, the Reverend Dr. Sang Myang Moon. The Korean people have long cherished a messianic hope, matured by clear testimonies of their prophets. The first Israel believed in the testimonies of its prophets that the Messiah would come as their king, establish the kingdom, and bring them salvation. The second Israel was able to endure an arduous path of faith due in part to their hope in the return of Christ. Similarly, the Korean people, the third Israel, have believed in the prophecy that the religious king will appear and found a glorious and everlasting kingdom in their land. Clinging to this hope, they found the strength to endure their affliction. afflictions. The messianic idea among the Korean people was revealed through the Cheong Gam Nok, a book of prophecy written in the 14th century at the beginning of the Yi dynasty. Because this prophecy foretold that a new king would emerge, the ruling class tried to suppress it. The Japanese colonial regime tried to stamp out this notion by burning the book and oppressing its believers. After Christianity came widely accepted, 
the idea was ridiculed as superstition. Nevertheless, the messianic hope still lives on deeply ingrained in the soul of the Korean people. The hope for religious king foretold in the Cheon Gamnok has the appellation Cheon Cheon Do Ryong in bracket the one who comes with the true word of God. In fact this is a Korean prophecy of the Christ who is to return to Korea. Even before the introduction of Christianity to Korea, God had revealed through the Cheong Gamnok that the Messiah would come to that land. And this is from the Exposition of the Divine Principle, Second Advent. 3.34 and we read just as the French prophet Notre Dame prophesied and as is clearly recorded in one of the Orient's greatest books of prophecies Kyo Am Yo Rock Reverend Moon has come as the one who has received heaven's appointment. He is fulfilling the responsibilities of humanity's true parents and the King of Peace. And this is a speech of May 1st, 2004. And we read, The surprising fact is that in the spirit world, the founders of the five major religions gathered and declared that God is the parent of humankind. They declared that Reverend Moon is the Savior and Messiah, the second coming of the Lord, and the true parents. They also affirmed that the unification principle is a message of peace for the salvation of humanity. They declare that its core teaching that we live for the sake of others with love transcends religion, nationality and race and that practicing, practicing its teaching of true love will complete the peaceful unification of the cosmos. They further resolved that they would attend the true parents and unite with one accord, devoting themselves for the sake of God's kingdom and world peace. And this is a speech of July 11, 2003. Uh, do we receive that? Now we go to a new subtopic, a new topic on page 553, the kingdom of heaven. And we read, the millennial kingdom is an ideal world without evil or sin, a world in which God's sovereignty is fully manifest. Hope for its advent, advent can be found to some degree in every world religion, but it is most strongly expressed in the scriptures of Judaism and Christianity as a firm promise of God. Sometimes the term kingdom of heaven denotes a spiritual ideal, a state of bliss in the afterlife. In bracket, see chapter 5, heaven, in this book. Uh, the world scriptures and the teachings of Sang Mia Moon, uh, they are referring, we read back on chapter, uh, chapter 5. 
and we continue to read. But that sense of the term does not do justice to the most thoroughgoing eschatological vision in this respect. The Father Moon gives enormous clear teaching about the kingdom to be established on earth. He has dedicated his life to fulfill God's calling to build that kingdom, not as a future vision, but as a realistic program of human renewal. These passages survey the kingdom of heaven from several perspective, perspectives. First, it is a world, a world of God's absolute sovereignty. We note that this need not imply anything about the pro political system of such a world. No. No regime in history, even if it claimed to be instituting God's theo uh, theocratically rule, has come anywhere close to the kingdom in the true sense. God's dominion is by love, not political power. It is where God goodness is vested with authority for its own sake and God can rule through the heart of good people. Second, the kingdom is a transfigured world, a new heaven and new earth where all people live as live as one great human family, giving and sharing in the norm, selfless selfishness is a part of people, know ultimately the heart and the will of God, rejoice in living by heaven's norms, and have no inward impediments to doing good. It is a world of peace where nations no longer make war and people enjoy a life free from crime and oppression. Third, the kingdom requires a transformation of the self even in the world where even if the world were at peace if we still felt conflicted and disturbed we would not feel comfortable and might continue to dwell in a private hell likewise even though we might live in a most delightful environment. We could not enjoy it if our family were full of conflict and strife. Father Moon teaches that the family is the fundamental unit of the kingdom of God, of the kingdom. Fourth, the kingdom is a very natural place, free of artificially artificiality in the constraints of external laws because the spontaneous prompting of the heart would all be good. It is a place of dazzling beauty where people's minds are like crystal and emanating divine light. Creation rejoices as citizens of the kingdom, care for the environment with love and sensitivity to nature's ways. 
Finally, the kingdom transcends death, where the earthly world and the spirit world are united. The barrier of death will calm down, allowing people to freely communicate with their loved ones on the other side. So that's a great definition and full definition of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, five points. Now we have, we go to the sub, subtopic number one. It is already 532. On page 553, I think we can end our reading, our Hundoke reading here. And uh, we can read that subtopic number one the world of God's sovereignty. We really desire this to start uh, soon. The will of God's, the world of God's sovereignty. Uh, so from what we read today, is there anyone uh, willing to share? I'm looking for that Matthew you read. Um, yeah. For as the light lightning comes from the east and shines as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. And this is in the book of Matthew 24 verses 27 and this is from the subtopic number 6 prophecies of the Messiah advent in the east so um, we are seeing um, uh, all the uh, prophecies of the world are here talking about the same uh, Messiah mm -hmm. and to our surprise actually some are even clear even with the name yes but my name is uh, 500 years before yeah <laughs> so everything is given to us Literally. yeah to all humanity and uh, if we would be flexible and allow God's uh, mm -hmm. uh, that God is not constrained to speak only maybe through Christianity alone mm -hmm. and we would allow God to speak through anywhere and uh, any people or any prophet, yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, the same Bible, for the sake of the same Bible that says, um, uh, Jesus said, from these stones I can raise the children of Abraham. <laughs> and uh, if you do not sing, Jesus was saying, if you do not sing to the Lord, even these stones can sing. So, when Jesus was talking about this, he was talking about the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Those people uh, that were despised by the Jews to be people who were ungodly, they did not know anything. And uh, Jesus was still saying that he can raise, God can use those uh, despised and lowly Gentile people. They were like the stones. They had not heard uh, the word of God. They were not prepared or the chosen people for a long time like the Jews. Mm -hmm. And so is Christianity raised with the spirit of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit for 2,000 years. But still, even as we read in the book of Matthew saying this verse, as the lightning comes from the east, and shines as the as far as the west, so will 
be the coming of the sun. So, if there is a flashing lightning coming from the east, how, how can we interpret this verse? If, let's say, geographically, <laughs> would we interpret this literally, geographically, that we can see a lightning from the east going across to the west? Geographically, we cannot. But, in reality, we see Father Moon coming from the east and uh, devoting 40 years, his 40 years of his prime life in the West. Because God had also prepared the West to be like Rome, where they have all the technology, they are the superpower, they have all the media, they have uh, uh, all this technology of uh, uh, internet and everything, came around the same time the Messiah True, uh, true Father came to the West and began his message to the world about the kingdom of God. And uh, as we have read uh, somewhere saying the kingdom is not the after death. Yeah. It is, uh, Father Moon's teaching is that the kingdom is something we live and build here in our own lifetime and physical uh, time and it, it is a physical thing. It is a physical establishment. And it is not about politics. It is beyond politics. So, I think this today's reading are so profound and uh, narrowing down that uh, if we human beings would be humble, then uh, the truth is already here to help us unite and become one family under God. And uh, you can see this is uh, Notre Dame is a French. So the Western people or the no. Europe people cannot say only Ching, uh, the book of Cheong no. Gam Nok in the Korean mm. that they cannot believe in that one yeah. because it is from the East. Mm. So in the West itself it is prophesied more clearly to the Eastern people. Mm. So there it is without excuse. So we read here on page 552, just as the French prophet Nostradamus prophesied and as is clearly recorded in one of the Orient book. So these two books, East and West, mm -hmm. uh, of uh, books of prophecies, Kyung and Yuk Rock, Reverend Moon has come as the one who has revealed, received heaven's appointment. He is fulfilling responsibilities of human, of humanity's true parents and king of peace. And this is true father himself saying this, clarifying this, that these two books, you can read them again. Yes. And you see that they mean, I am the one. And uh, continues here to say, the surprising fact is that in the spirit world, the founders of the five most uh, major religions gathered and declared that God is the parent of humankind. And uh, they declared that Reverend Moon is the Savior and the Messiah, the second coming of the Lord and the true parents. They also affirmed that unification principle is the message of peace for the salvation of humanity. 
when all Christians hear these kind of things, or all Muslims, or all Buddhists, or all Hindus hear this kind of message that their the four founders, their founders gathered and declared this, and that there is a book called the Unification Principle, is the message of peace and salvation. All they need is to sit and read it again, because they have the best establishment of researching and affirming. If the Vatican today decides it wants to study the divine principle in truth, in spirit and in truth, it will declare to the whole, uh, maybe the whole world the whole is uh, full of Catholics. And they would just say yes if they are interested in cre building the kingdom of, get of God and finding who is the Messiah and what's the message of peace. Mm -hmm. It's simple because there is a lead message. And if they are looking for it really, then it is already here. But they would continue to do other things that are not in leading all those people to meet the Messiah because that's not what they are looking for. Yes. That's not their key point. They are just, they would like, like Islam, like any other religion, they just like to remain as an establishment that is governing so many people. Yes, that other than just remaining to be a, a big institution that is worldwide and has power and has uh, many members, the real purpose of religion is to connect people to God. So here it is. Go for it, Pope. With all due respect, and all the sheikhs and the, all the caliphs, caliphs uh, and all the monks, it is all here. And all our bishops and archbishops, it is all here. So, uh, we uh, uh, people that had no, have no titles have found it. And we are not, we are working on it. And we are happy in our heart that we are connected to the Messiah and we are connected to God directly. So, if they come, we welcome them and yes. we can work uh, together. Yes. So, thank you very much. Yes. Want to say thank you. Reverend Esra, anybody else wants to share about our reading today? Prophecies of the Messiah's Advent in the East. So, uh, there are many, uh, of course, we call prophets, because they're inspired. They even have churches here down the street, up there. Mm -hmm. You know, the British school, mm -hmm. up there in uh, Upshur and then 16th Street. Yeah. They even bought a church there, the Church of Christ, but it's in Filipino. Because they believe that the man from the East is, you know, from the Philippines. <laughs> oh. And uh, in, in Revelations, the man from the East, uh, they were talking about in the island of Patmos. And the island of Patmos is right exactly where China is in the east, mm -hmm. Korea or Japan. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, Philippines and maybe many other prophets mm -hmm. is above or below the island of Patmos. Mm -hmm. And the island of Patmos, you can see now, if you look at the map of the world, it's exactly on the 38th parallel. Mm -hmm. And you can see that there's a country right now being 
you know, that, you know, uh, divided by the third eight parallel. Mm. So it's not China, it's not Japan, but look at this country right now in the east, and it's no other than Korea. Yeah. So the third eight parallel is the demilitarized zone, and we are the group of people, the unificationists, who knows when and where the Messiah will and come. How, and how. And how will the Messiah will come. <laughs> so we know the time, we know the who. Even in one of the passages that we read today, yeah. this was 500 years before uh, the, se the 20th century. Yeah. And they declared that he, his family name is Moon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and even the days of our, our, the days that we are following from, you know, from the beginning of Sunday is the day of, the day of uh, the God's day, mm. then Moon Day, then today is uh, Tuesday. These are heavenly bodies, all, you know. Right. Yeah, and... Uh, of course, Nostradamus is a very famous prophet, and it, it came out in his quatrains. Yes. So they all pointed out to the day when uh, he will match uh, people, uh, men and women, good men and women, in matrimony, and the total number is 36,000. So uh, the number of the heavenly law is 21,600. The number denoting heaven and the 14,400 is the number denoting earth. So there's heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the, the uh, flag of North Korea, it's about heaven and earth, yin and yang. Yeah. So yin is men, male, yang, so uh, is female. So yin and yang in harmony bring the fortune of the heavenly way. United fortune of the east and west is the fortune of the ten victories. So it's in their flag, in their, you know. And uh, when, you re when you go to our lectures, you will be uh, shown the map of North and South Korea. When you draw the North and South Korea, it looks like an angel blowing a trumpet. Mm. So the angel's is, head is in North Korea, and the trumpet is also in North Korea, and the legs and you know the torso below is in South Korea. Mm. So how could you know God project it in that place? You know, and uh, of course when you see this number, 36,000. That's when he declared that he, the Son of Man, or the Messiah, or the true man, will come. And this is again from Chung uh, Gamnok. And nobody realized it. 1992, on the 30,000 couples in Seoul, Korea, because uh, it's a stadium that accommodates at least 30,000 people. It happened. And then he came and he even declared there are many VIPs. And yeah. if you're looking for the second coming, yeah, he declared, <laughs> yeah, I am the one. Yeah. And this was the same time that the, they prophesied about the 36,000. In fact, the 30,000 was just a goal but it became more people and then of course two years after 1992 there were 360,000 couples worldwide by satellite and I think we broke the record of not only 20,000 there was for, that was uh, in the Seoul Stadium but the piece is close to almost 30,000 and I think that was the year you know everybody knows that this is the place where the Messiah declared himself. So, yeah. you know, it's not anymore, nothing to hide. Yeah. yeah, so who could achieve that kind of number? And now, 
even 1995 from then on uh, the goal was only like 36 million or even 3.6 million on 1997 uh, after that year it quantum leap 10 times plus 400 like uh, 4 million plus so uh, 3.6 million it became a 36 million couple it, uh, eventually they have to declare 40 million couple 1997 so I invited my, my brother my aunt it was a time you know of harvest and many people in my hometown so even I myself I was surprised I was guided by I don't know all the spirits and at the end of the day you just realize you count all these people you write down their names and these people sign you go to their house they want the blessing of course nobody wants <laughs> you know the will refuse you if they you give a blessing is it okay to give your house a blessing your family of course everybody say yes yeah and uh, you know, this is not a miracle, but this was a a prophecy already that was made 500 years before our time. Yes, and even the Bible, I mean, the prophecies of Nostradamus and many saints, and uh, you know, that this time will come. So, uh, anybody else who wants to share about a reading today? Anyone from the teleconference? So this is uh, the time that we need to just tell everybody that we we know where and when the Messiah comes. Yes. Uh, was it Reverend Oliver? Hello. Yes. Okay, uh, if there's no other reflections, let's all rise and let's have unison prayer. Our most beloved heavenly parents were so thankful for this reading today about the process of the second coming. We pray that we can realize that God is really moving all people all over the world from east to west even from the south and the north all people are waiting for the Lord of the second coming the Imam Mahdi from our Muslim brothers the true man Confucius and even for the Buddhists, they are still waiting for the Buddha, which will come in this year. We pray that we have all these prophecies pointing to the moon plan and the east, the country in the east of the island of Patmos. We pray that Korea is the land where God will come again. We pray that we can really declare this to all over the world. And we pray in this playback we can share it with family and friends. We pray that now we can unite North and South Korea, which is divided by the third day parallel and divided by no other than the enemy or Satan. We pray that as we have known today and in a few days ago that even the leader is not really running North Korea and we pray for him <coughs> in Jun and we pray for his number two man who is already going around the South Korea that they will unite with the South and this unity will come soon before 2020 we pray for our brothers and sisters who are working so hard in North Korea and all over the world. We pray for our church.
church there that was operating peacefully and without any hindrance there. And we pray for the unity of all planets and unity of all nations and peace will come. And we pray that they will know about true parents and the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray all this in all our names and in my name as the national friends to seek it to bless single family. Our Jew, our Jew, our Jew. Uri yes, send it to you all. Uh, is it now okay like this? Because I place it near the right hand side of the book. It was just under... Somebody up. I think you can still oh, okay. Yeah, so... It was echoing also, but yeah. I, we can hear you from here. Yeah, I'll place it in front of the book uh, tomorrow, and let's see, okay? And because I place it on the right hand side of the book, just under my, uh, my, yeah, my mouth here, yeah. <laughs> yes. And, yes, you're welcome. Have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.